Hello, my name is Thomas Boyd, and today we're going to look at the color brick. When I did my last video, my Advanced Creative Adjustments 3, which is for sale right now in the store, I made a mistake. I had a little brain lapse and I made some errors in the way I used the color brick. So today we're going to just go over that real quick. This is not the photo I worked on. Um, um, first, let me make some initial adjustments that I would always do in, with any photo. Right away, I want to straighten out my lines. And the lines I'm looking at here are on this sign. Most of the, all the other lines in here are all crooked. This sign's crooked, so there's no reason to get all persnickety about that. So we'll go down here to definition, kind of monkey around with that a little bit, bring that up. I'm going to take some black point, and I'm going to hold down my uh, command key until I get some blacks. And I'm going to add just a, a touch of um, curves adjustment. I'm moving pretty quick because I really want to get to the color brick without wasting too much time. Also, one of the most important things about this picture is, you know, this is a mixed lighting source. So we're going to take the eyedropper and the white balance brick and choose a nice white spot here. That cooled the picture right down. That feels about right. I might cool it off just a little more up here by moving the slider over to the blue side. Now here's, let's get right down to the color brick. This is important. One thing I want to do is use the eyedropper to select particular colors. Um, is what I just did was select the, 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 the red and the flag. And is what that does is give me a chance just to adjust that saturation. I don't want to go nuts with it, but I do want to jack it just a little bit, just a little bit. So the thing I did last time, I'll, I'll show you what I did. I took the eyedropper and I clicked on another color. Let's, let's say green down here. And when I did that, it took away my adjustment on the red. So is what we need to do is I'm going to redo that first. But now, to make another adjustment on another color, we need to say add new color adjustment. And that gives us a second brick. And when we do that, we're going to select another color altogether. And in this case, I'm going to select the blue wall and play around with that saturation a little bit. Let's just jack that up quite a lot because it, it doesn't go too wacky or anything. So I'm going to leave it like that. So again, when you use the color brick, it's like any other brick that allows you to do it. You can't just start making multiple adjustments in the same brick. You need to say, add new color adjustment, which gives you the chance to select another color. With that, let's take one last look at the before and after. That's before and after. It's quite a lot more pop and a lot more color. Thank you very much for listening. And that's all we have for now.